All right, I'm back for another adventure. It's another day here. Um, so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive a little bit on the south side, but the majority is I'm gonna be focusing on the north shore. Uh, I haven't been over there much, um, but there's a lot to see. You got Coolidge Park. There's a couple other restaurants and stuff that I'll show you, some gyms. Uh, but for the most part, it's just residential area over there. Uh, so I, I, don't, I don't venture off over there much. Uh, so again, if you like the content, please subscribe. Share with other people so they can subscribe and then you can be notified too uh, when I upload again. Uh, so again, we're on Martin Luther King Boulevard. I'm probably gonna run this all the way into the downtown area, either Broad Street or Market Street. I haven't decided yet. And then I'm gonna run that all the way to the North Shore. Uh, so again, come along on a journey with me and we'll get to experience all of it together. Um, I do know one of the reasons why I don't go again other than that it's the North Shore is mainly residential um, is that um, the roads over on the North Shore of Chattanooga are very like they're two lane but I feel like they should be one lane uh, you'll see that as we get over there and again the North Shore is very hilly uh, very mountainous mountainous terrain um, uh, like in a residential areas up there um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see when we get there and you guys get will get to explore that with me so again on Martin Luther King Boulevard uh, on the south side uh, coming across Houston Street right here and then Lindsay Street uh, we'll be crossing right here and again this is all stuff that if you go back in, in other videos you'll definitely be able to see all this stuff so uh, that's the reason why I'm you know trying to get over to the the North Shore because that's something I haven't filmed yet and there's a lot of stuff over there that's again with Coolidge Park uh, they've got a lot of green space on the on the north on the north side of uh, Chattanooga so All right, so this is Market Street. I'm gonna wait till I get up to, I guess Broad Street is where I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, jump in the right lane and then and then go towards the North Shore. So, as you can see on both sides, they got like a little concert area down here. A lot of, like I said, there's a green space there. Uh, there's, uh, I, I believe that's where you could set up like a band or something uh, and play there. Uh, and then they got this little pavilion right here and some other stuff and I think this is called I thought it was called Miller Park down here but I'm not 100% sure uh, so don't quote me on that but uh, they've got some other stuff back over there again it's just all like like I've seen farmer market type things down here um, not very big uh, but I, they, they had Christmas trees down here during uh, the, the holiday season um, I've seen some other stuff too so all right, let me get over into this lane. And we are now on Broad Street. And we'll run this all the way across uh, to the north uh, North Shore. So, I've been down the street a couple times in other videos. So, um, some of the stuff will definitely look familiar.
think like a lot of bigger cities too you'll have, will actually have those uh those bikes that you can rent and you can navigate the city uh, at your own will uh if you pay the fee for the bicycle uh i don't know if if chattanooga has the scooters i do know they have a couple spots like we saw back there with the bikes um so if you're ever in chattanooga this spot right here this uh this bazillion grill is supposed to be really good i've never eaten there actually uh, but i'm planning on doing that soon so again that's supposed to be really good food that's actually where they bring the meat out to the table and cut it for you right in front of you which is weird um i think it's kind of cool uh and then if you like sweets uh cupcake kitchen is a place uh that you want to go to again uh they have a variety of cupcakes but not only cupcakes uh cupcakes is just probably a small portion of what they actually have so again coming into the area where the aquarium is in front of us and then the rock wall uh, the outside walk rock wall that they have here in down in downtown chattanooga off to the left over here i'll show you they have a pinball museum um, that is uh, pretty cool I hear I have not been in there um, I don't even know what they charge so not hundred percent sure of what they of, of what kind of pinballs I thought I heard that they had one uh, of a new one but then they have them from all kinds of decades in there uh, which if you're a pinball fan that'd probably be somewhere where you'd want to uh, go to to uh, check it out so again the outdoor rock wall is right here as you can see uh, but I think they have stuff on the inside too. It looks like a parking ramp almost uh, that they did that on the outside. The aquarium is the big building ahead of us. Um, uh, they got a fresh water on one on one building, and then they have a salt water on a whole different on the whole different building. So it's two buildings, uh, salt water and fresh water. I believe that their fresh water aquarium is the biggest one in the nation. I could be wrong. I I can't remember where I heard that at. Uh, the salt water, uh, as you know shed aquarium in chicago uh the atlanta aquarium uh especially with the whale sharks is pretty cool too uh however uh they don't they do not have this kind of scale like like those uh bigger cities have so again it's just the, the fresh water is the one that they have a lot of stuff on so all right so we're gonna come back over here cross that market all right so this bridge right here that we're going to go across is called the market street bridge this will run from the south shore or the south side of chattanooga which we're on it'll run all the way to the north side and as you'll see uh the the road over here like i mean for some people down here i guess it's fine but like i do not like being in that right lane that right lane is so small or it seems small to me uh but i'm guessing it's probably normal to everybody else uh, who's lived down here but somebody from the the north our lanes are a lot bigger and that right lane there is not something i'm fond with especially if you have a truck next to you like a, a semi or a dump truck or something like that not cool uh so all right so we'll go over here and venture first i'll run you by coolidge park show you what coolidge park looks like and then go from there so all these shops right here are all touristy um you have a lot of the shops that run on a the, on the back side is coolidge park uh, but a lot of these shops will tailor to the ter uh the tourists that come down here uh especially this one right here that uh walnut street bridge shop it's just shirts triscuits or not triscuits but uh trinkets souvenirs along with a couple of the other ones back there just they, they have uh they tailor to uh individuals who are coming here to uh basically get souvenirs saying that they were here in chattanooga tennessee uh, i've been to all those shops and i probably got shot glasses from all those shops too so um because i'm a shot glass collector uh, so this area right here off to the right is coolidge park and as you can see the bridge that's going across the front of it is actually the walnut street bridge uh that is i don't know if that's the largest walking bridge uh in the nation 
uh, at one time it might have been. It used to be open to, to car traffic many, many years ago. Uh, and then they decided to shut it down um, because it was in disarray and not safe for vehicles to go on. They were actually going to tear it down. Uh, and then um, I can't remember what all happened, but they decided to actually keep it uh, to use it as a pedestrian walking bridge now. And that's what it is. It's just literally you can ride bikes on it. Uh, you can uh, walk across it. Again, uh, a very neat thing to have here in Chattanooga a pedestrian walk bridge or that that's just mainly just like I said for pedestrians and not uh, you know vehicles so again um, the space that's below it again is Coolidge Park this whole area over here uh, behind me is now that's all Coolidge Park um, during the summertime that grass is so green uh, it is so well kept down here you can go and have a picnic out there uh, do mu all kinds of things uh, they have a rock climbing wall too over there on the side of the Walnut Street Bridge. I don't know if it was, I, I couldn't see it from where I was at, uh, but that's pretty cool too. So um, now we're going to venture off over here to the uh, left. Um, and there's a restaurant over here called River Street Deli. Uh, I believe their hours, I don't know, I don't know if they open at 9 or 10, but they usually close at 2. Uh, if you're ever in Chattanooga, again, River Street Deli, the sandwiches, uh, they have a Philly Reuben. If you like Reuben sandwiches, uh, that I think is phenomenal. Uh, may, other people may not. They use coleslaw inside of it. So it's it's just, it's weird, but the, the, the sandwich is definitely cool. And again, the, the Chattanooga Souvenir Shops, they have, a, like I said, they're all over the place. Again, because you're by Coolidge Park. Uh, so with that a lot of these spots over here are going to be that way so this is that deli i was talking about river street deli again a really good sandwich shop if you're ever over here uh that is something to check out a couple other restaurants around here um uh, they got a japanese restaurant here to the left paddleboard rental a lot of this stuff is out of season so it might not even be open but uh during the spring and summertime uh, this place is parked up so getting a spot to actually park or rent some of that stuff you may not be able to do it due to the surplus of everybody else wanting to do it and like a lot of tourists uh, who come down here um, and are using you know the, the stuff that they have there so again um, over here to the left all Coolidge Park just a big green space they actually have concerts down here too uh, at Coolidge Park and at Walnut Street Bridge. I believe they had concerts on the bridge too, if I remember correctly, um, in the summer. I, I don't know, if, I can't remember the name of the concert, but I do know they shut the bridge down, the Walnut Street Bridge from for uh, walking uh, and uh, they throw a big concert on, so. The bridge that we just crossed was the Market Street Bridge. That's the bridge we came over on. And then you got up some apartments over here too in this area <clears throat> that that building in front of us that's called single mill uh it has a restaurant called food works in it it's actually a pretty good restaurant um with some pretty decent food uh however i think when we went we went during brunch so um we kind of lucked out on uh of getting something that we actually wanted so um i'm gonna end this video here i'll pick it back up in a little bit